This is a short video on basic navigation on the FG Wilson DCP-10 digital control panel. Here's what you'll see when you initially power up the unit. It'll go through a self-test. And once it sets ready, then, then you're ready to navigate through the menus and see the parameters. Okay, we're going to go through some of the buttons. You'll notice that the display might dim a little bit after a few seconds. That's just for energy conservation on your battery. First button that we're going to look at is the right arrow button. This button allows you to scroll through the submenus. It allows you to modify and, and confirm modifications of the menus. You also have a silence alarm. You'll get an audible alarm. Uh, and this button will allow you to silence that alarm. You also have the auto and manual buttons. The LED indicates which mode it is on. Right now it's in the manual mode. If you want to change it to the auto mode so that the transfer switch can automatically transfer and start the unit, you'll need to hold the auto button for two seconds. And you'll notice that now the LED is indicating the auto position. If you want to come back to the manual, mode, then you'll just press and hold the manual button for two seconds and we're now back in the manual mode. Additionally, we have the red and the green buttons here, which also uh, have a plus and a minus indication above them. These buttons are used for starting in the manual mode and shutting down, and they're also used within the submenus to increase or decrease the values of the parameters. And lastly, you have an alarm indication with an LED. That LED will flash when you have a pre-alarm or warning, and it will illuminate solid once you have a, a, an alarm or a shutdown. Okay, now we're going to simulate a start sequence. You'll notice it'll go through its three start sequence, uh, but we're going to get an alarm of a start failure just so that you can see what it does. We're going to hold down the green button for two seconds and it's going through its preheat and now it's going through its first crank cycle in which it will hold it for 10 seconds and now it will start its second crank attempt. The icon that you see here is letting you know that it's attempting to start and it's not been able to so now it's counting down on its second crank attempt. And finally it'll go through its third crank attempt. And at that point we'll get an alarm. We're going to silence the alarm. Indicated that the alarm is active but it's silenced. That we did not get a start. And it's telling you on the screen that we have a start failure alarm. In order to reset that alarm, you'll notice also that the LED is solid, as we indicated earlier. So in order to reset that alarm, all we're going to do is press the red stop button. And the alarm is reset. Now once the engine has started, or is attempting to start, then you'll be able to scroll through the other screens that are available, which indicate Hertz, RPM, and hours on the engine oil pressure, temperature, and battery voltage. Here it's going to give you the line to neutral voltage. This is set up as a single phase unit, so we're seeing two lines. And then the voltage between line to line. And finally the amperage on line one and line two. And then it just starts through scrolling, scrolling through those menus once more. So there you have the basic navigation functions of the FG Wilson DCP-10 digital control panel.